snagged that bad boy. But now, for the heat of all heat, I was stoked on this. And this this is a lesson to always just check in places you want. <laughs> Yo, 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 what is up guys? It is I, Chulo, as above, so Chulo, back at it with another video. I know it's been a little bit, but I'm finally back doing a little kind of odd trip to the thrift kind of pickup video uh, type thing. Just didn't really film while I was in the thrift, but I will show you all the dope stuff that we got. So we're just gonna go over some of the stuff I've picked up in the last like month or so. I'm sorry that it's taken me so long to do a video. I've been just dealing with holidays and just everything. I don't do good in the winter. I get really cold and I hibernate like a f***ing bear basically because I just can't stand the cold. It gets dark earlier and all that. I just, and that's just an excuse. Thank you guys for sticking with me. My few subscribers that I do have. Uh, if you are watching this video and you are not a subscriber, make sure and click that button. And we're gonna be going over like a lot more knowledge with it. I wanna make more instructional videos because there's not that much out there. And I'm learning as well, you know, because we're always learning. That's the best thing about life is just continuing to learn because you'll always grow. But yeah, so we're gonna go over some stuff. Got a whole bunch of stuff really that I need to start posting. I just got a new light set up as well that I'll probably show you guys at some point. So that should hopefully help. Got some soft boxes and all that good stuff. The first stuff we're gonna go over is the like literally the trip that I just did and then we'll go over other stuff afterwards. But let's dive in and well, let's just start off with some t-shirts. Yeah, let's start off with some t-shirts and we'll go from there. Starting off, I tried to look it up. I haven't found too much about it, but it's this gruff but lovable kind of typewriter font print. And then it says Lunatic Fringe. I've tried to look it up. The only thing that I know that's even close to that is the song Lunacy Fringe by The Used. So if anybody knows about this, let me know. Um, it's on this like, I believe this is late 90s or maybe early 2000s heavy cotton gildan tag i could be wrong i'm just going off the top of my head then the next thing we have i got this yesterday and i'm really not sure about what it is i know it's definitely like a bootleg um, and i don't know how vintage it is but it's a raglan a red hot chili peppers t-shirt it's on this easy riders tag which is weird because it's like a motorcycle thing and I can't find anything about the company. There is a company called Easy Riders, but they make different stuff than this. So I'm just very confused. If anybody knows anything about this, let me know, um, put down in the comments. But yeah, it's pretty rad shirt, Red Hot Chili Peppers, size large, nice raglan. The print is really nice on it. It's real clean. It doesn't have a date anywhere on it that I could see. I was trying to find one. But yeah, Rad T, it could be a reproduction or, I mean, it's definitely bootleg, um, but it could be a more recent reproduction, who knows? Um, I'll do more research and I will let y'all know. But yeah, so yeah, follow me on my Instagram as well. The link will be down in the description. It is as above, so chulo. Follow me on there. And then while you're at it, follow Mystic Styles Vintage on Depop and all of that good stuff. <laughs> Moving along, this one is super sick. I got this uh, like two weekends ago. It is this nice long sleeve Sturgis t-shirt. It's 2009 and pretty damn rad, so it doesn't even matter. And that nice brown, I think it is pretty, pretty rad. You got the sleeve hits, boom, some flames. I think that's what that is. Yeah, you got some, oh no, barbed wire flames. See that, some barbed wire flames going down? Boom, <laughs> this is fire. It's on this L style tag made in New Mexico of USA fabric. Boom, pretty rad. You can know that if you see this tag, it's gonna be after, it's gonna be 2009 or before, I guess. But yeah, it's at least 2009. Moving along, we got these two t-shirts. Got this rad single stitch. The front part of the tag is taken off, so all I have is the care tag. But it is, I'm pretty sure it's Fruit of the Loom, if I remember from that font and stuff. But it's made in Dominican Republic of USA fabric. Single stitch on the sleeves and on the bottom hem. Beautiful white and pink Arizona authentic. Oh, it has a stain right there. Real small, you can barely see it. 
But yeah, so I'm gonna soak that probably again. But it's a rad shirt, single stitch, always nice, great condition. Then this one, I wish it was bigger, because I love this one. It's a size small, but it's this rad Disneyland Pluto t-shirt. It's very cool. It's just a size small, which is a bummer. But for you small brethren and sistren out there, this is a rad shirt for you. Hit my line, but for real. Sick ass shirt, nothing on the back, but just a nice clean creme de la creme colorway. Got the Disney hit right there. Got Pluto winking at you doing the Illuminati. Pluto is in the Illuminati. 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 Yeah, so sick ass shirt, size small. It's kind of long. Like it would almost fit me in length, which is crazy. It's just skinny, like slim fit. Super rad shirt. Then we got this stack over here. We'll start off with this bad boy. This is a pretty rad Jesus t-shirt. Boom, it says seven all over it. And then on the back, it says, I want my life to love Jesus more than anything. Be faithful in tribulation. Know the Bible and defend it. Worship in truth. Live in the spirit of life. Be a faithful witness. Have a godly enthusiasm. I obviously can't read. I went to Sweet Home High School. Look it up, it's a real place. I'm sorry, I can't read that good. I'm just kidding, I can read great. <laughs> but for real, sick ass shirt. Sorry, Lord, for cussing. Um, but yeah, super sick. Check that out, size large. I just like the black and the color. Like, I think that's just rad, rad shirt. Come up, that will go be definitely be going up on my Depop at some point. This one, actually my mom found it. She was at a Goodwill and she always keeps an eye out when she goes. And she found this rad bootleg Christian Dior t-shirt embroidered super sick it is definitely bootleg because this is definitely not the christian dior tag but still rad nonetheless uh it's a single stitch actually which is cool so single stitch on the bottom so it's a vintage bootleg and single stitch on the sleeves but yeah super sick color and everything that baby blue christian dior next t-shirt is going to be this oh oh god dang it puh, puh, puh. <laughs> Okay, next one is going to be this. Kind of bigger Disneyland, the original Mickey Mouse, fully embroidered, super sick. Nice, big, oversized fit. It is a size large, extra large, but you can see that that would fit really nice. Boom, not a super kitty one. Like I feel like a more adult Disneyland shirt. Looks like it was on a Disneyland tag. Made in Brunei Darussalam. The hell is that? Brunei Darussalam. That's wild. Weird. I don't know. But yeah, so made in Brunei. I have no idea where that is. Okay, next, we got two long sleeves. We're gonna start with this banger. Get a nice polo Ralph Lauren long sleeve. Got the black polo jeans hit right here. Polo jeans going. We got the white Ralph Lauren. It's a little cracked, but I like that. Nice vintage look to it. Only on that one sleeve that has a little tiny, it's a weird shirt. Little tiny Ralph Lauren hit right there. Boom. It, I thought at first that it might be bootleg, but I've been looking at the tag and the tag is pretty perfect. It's a size XL, made in Mexico. Boom, Polo Jeans Co, Ralph Lauren. Yeah, everything is pretty on point. The stitching all looks good. The shirt is really nice, it's in good condition. I just think it was a weird one they made. I think, oh yeah, it says Polo Jeans Co up there too it's just really faded you can barely see it nonetheless sick shirt i love long sleeves especially because where i live it's really cold well not really it's not that bad but i get i get gold really easy nice extra large long sleeve super sick moving on this one is rad too this one was on this uh anvil tag made in nicaragua boom the red anvil tag, so I'd say that's like mid 2000s as well. Just Kennedy Space Center with a nice center hit. You got a spaceship as well, and this nice navy kind of blue, but it's almost like a faded black, which is really rad. I almost forgot about this shirt actually. It is a size large, but it's real rad. Real rad, man. Real rad, I tell you. But yeah, not single stitch or anything. Just a nice, nice shirt. I dropped it. Now it's gonna be dirty. One more T-shirt. It was to hide. So this one is super sick. This is a nice, made in USA, Nautica striped shirt, little boat masterpiece. Just beautiful, beautiful shirt. It is, I didn't even check this yesterday, but it's single stitch, striped, beautiful, horizontal stripes. You got the little boat hit right here. Boom, 
It's an extra large, so it's a nice big oversized kind of boxy fit, longer sleeves. Just as a sick shirt. I was pretty stoked on this. Made in USA, which is dope. Uh, and that is the last t-shirt. So now we're gonna move on to some other just kind of random stuff and some fire pieces. Right here at the top of my pile is these uh, white tag, made in Hong Kong white tag, Nike swim shorts. They do have the uh, netting of the liner, but you can always take those out. Sick ass shorts. I know it's not short season, um, there's some of y'all that can wear shorts all year round and I envy you. Um, it has this nice little Nike hit, Nike patch at the bottom, black and yellow, super rad pair of shorts, fire piece. Moving on, then the next thing we have is, let's go with this. I found this just the other day. It was this New York Yankees center embroidered kind of jersey type thing. It's a Cooperstown Majestic, Cooperstown Classic, or collection, Cooperstown Collection. Boom, super rad. Mm, it would fit really nice. Has the Yankee hit in the middle, then it also has the spell out Yankee hit on the sleeve. Just really dope jersey. I think you'd call it jersey. It's not like an actual authentic jersey. They don't wear these things, but it's, I mean, maybe it is, I don't know. I don't know when this would be from, <laughs> to be honest. It has a printed a printed tag, so it's not super vintage or anything. It is just rad. You got the majestic hit on the sleeve, embroidered as well. Boom, fire piece right there especially wearing that over a hoodie or something super rad moving along got this one yesterday as well and i feel like this is almost more rare than made in usa because <laughs> i got this cuba jersey number 10 it's like a soccer jersey i think i don't know i don't know what kind of really what kind of jersey it is cuba hit on the back and what makes it rare is that it's also hecho in cuba made in cuba but yeah, so this was made in Cuba, super rad. I like it, I like the colors, I think it's rad. I don't know, I might keep it. It might go my deep up, just follow me and stay tuned because it might do those things. I tried to look this up, I can't find much more stuff on it because I think the main tag got ripped out of this bad boy. But it's this nice champion crew neck, nice red. It's perfect condition, no stains, no major stains or anything that I can see at least. Super sick, The it just has this tag. And it's missing this one. So I'm not, I don't know. I know a little bit about champion stuff, but that, without it having that main tag, I don't really know. I just know that it doesn't feel that new because I have a newer champion sweatshirt and it feels a lot different. So I'm not really sure. I don't know. It might not be that old. I'm, I'm, I'm welcome to learning. So if you know, put it down in the comments, let me know. Super sick. I like it. I like just playing red things. Um, back and back being bull. Okay, moving along. We got this, just not vintage, but just rad. It's just not vintage, but it is a rad all over print elk. Columbia long sleeve, the River Lodge edition. So I have a, a short sleeve River Lodge, uh, a short sleeve River Lodge shirt that I got for my dad. I'll show you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one, this is River Lodge as well. And this shirt is so sick. My dad gave it to me a long time ago because he was getting rid of it. I just wanted it. And what's cool, it has like some beer logos all over it. Red Drum, uh, Red Drum America, Amber Ale. And it's funny because like from far away, it almost looks like it says murder, just like Red Rum says murder. It almost looks like it says red rum all around it. Like murder, 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 murder. It is murder, just two Ds, murder. It's just a weird shirt, right, for Columbia to make. But I love it. I love wearing it over like hoodies, everything. Um, but then now I got this sick ass all over print. Elkin, that's multiple elk, Elkin. You have oxen, so you have multiple box elk. It's Elkin, if you have multiple boxes, you have boxing, right? I think that's how it goes. But yeah, super sick, boom. Moving along, we have this, not super vintage, but not brand new, Dickies work shirt, long sleeve one. Nice forest green color. I really like it, I dig it. Got two pockets on the front, all the buttons are there. And the coolest part is this back, just super sick. I think this is, I think it's chain stitching. I'm not too familiar with chain stitching, but it's real thin for most chain stitching. It might just be like a sewed or embroidered type situation, or it could be chain stitch. I don't know, and I'd love to learn more. And if anybody knows what this is, hit me up. Let me know in the comments. Just a sick, sick shirt though. Long sleeve. I'm gonna put it on, might as well. So my camera died, so I had to wait for a little bit for it to charge so I could plug it in and then it would work. So we're gonna rush through these last little bits. The next two things we got are these sick ass pair of Carhartt pants, the nice black, um, they are not vintage, I don't think. They might be, they do have a leather patch, um, which I think the more modern stuff has a harder kind of not leather patch, not 100% sure. They're the Bucksaw Loggers. 
So they have the nice like suspender things. But yeah, just nice Carhartt logger pants. Got the side pockets and all that. The Carhartt hit, hit on the back. The tag was ripped out, unfortunately. I would believe that these are more modern, probably in 2000s, mid 2000s. Could be super current, I'm not 100% sure, but they are sick nonetheless. A little too big for me, sadly. But these will go up on the Depop for sure, as well as some other Carhartt that I've been hoarding from y'all. There's those. The next thing we got, I was super stoked. I went and actually checked for these. I went yesterday, which I don't typically, I don't know, well I do typically go on Mondays, but some days I wake up and I'm like, oh, I don't wanna go. But then something something was calling me yesterday, told me to go. And I found these rad pair of Made in USA vintage 501 Levi's. Got the 501 XX, but these are sick ass 501s. They have this care tag, which I would put as uh, early 90s, I believe. Early 90s. Mm. Let's focus a little bright. Mm. Yeah, super sick. Levi's, they're size 3430, so they're gonna be a little short and cropped. I haven't measured them to see what the true size is, but the waist actually looks like it would fit me. So they're probably more like a 32, 28, I would say. A little cropped, a little shorties, but they're sick. Boom, they do have the, is that the right term, the twisted? I don't know, I need to look that up. It does have like a kind of a twisted inseam. I don't know. I know they did that with the reds later on at some point, but I don't know, I don't know. We'll have to look it up. They're not salvage or anything. They're just standard. Nice pair, nice wash to them. They'll fade even more for whoever gets them or if I just wear them. But another pair of Made in USA Levi's to add to my collection. I have a pretty good collection, I would say now. Moving on, got this, uh, this just the day before yesterday. I was actually in the women's section and I was I was just kind of browsing by and I was like, that's kind of sweet. Um, it's a Blair Made in USA. It's really hard to see. It's a size extra large, but in the very, you probably can't see it in here, it'd be probably be too bright. But it says at the very bottom, very faded. This is Made in USA. Say it's the Blair from Warren, Pennsylvania. And I don't know if technically this might be a women's coat, but I put it on and it fits me good. I really like the fleece lining. And then I wash it so it's all nice and clean. But it's like a work work jacket, you know, just classic. A little something light to throw on. Snag that bad boy. But now for the heat of all heat. I was stoked on this. And this this is a lesson to always just check in places you won't don't usually check. Um, this was in the women's section, and it was in the small, it is a small, which I don't typically look for, but as you can already kind of see, because I'm not hiding it very well, it's this sick-ass orange tab, like 1970s vintage Levi's vest, Sherpa-lined, boom, nice and cozy. This thing is beautiful, super sick. Nice raw denim, boom. It's a size small, so it's a little too small for me, like I can put it on. But that's about it. I couldn't. I don't think it would look right if I wore it out and about. But y'all see. I mean, I do kind of look like a badass a little bit. <sighs> Ooh, look at that. I'm swole. Look how strong I look. Muscle boy. Yeah. This is an extra large. I'm just filling it out. Let me adjust myself real quick. But yeah, so this vest, I was super stoked on. I I really want to find an actual Sherpa line, like old trucker jacket. But this will do for now. I guess I can wear it. I don't think it looks that bad. What do you guys think? Put down in the comments. Is it too small? Should I keep it? Should I sell it? It adds to my vibe, I feel like. I got my nice vintage Wranglers on currently. I don't know if you can see, boom. I love these things. They are rad. Here, we can kind of turn this, do a little fit, fit pick action. Don't mind my messy room. Yeah, I got my slides on. We have one last t-shirt that I'll go over with you guys. It's just kind of because I forgot it earlier. But yeah, this vest, super sick. They don't go for a ton of money, but I like it. I like collecting just Americana stuff and true vintage. Because t-shirts are cool and all, but there's much more than just t-shirts. Like, there's cool stuff like this. Like this, see that? Boom, nice union made vintage, like 50s or 60s jersey, baseball jersey. I got the pants to go along with it. Where's that tag at? Yeah, the tag is a little faded, but you can still see. Boom. That's a union made tag. United, I can't remember exactly. United Garment Workers Union. Yeah, man, I wish it wouldn't have faded. It kind of faded when I washed it. You live and you learn, but still sick. You can still tell what it is. It's Ray Pinkerton High School, which is in Milwaukee, Oregon. 
the buttons are kind of flecked up a little bit, so I try not to unbutton and button it too much. But I just thought it was super cool. The Kingsman's all embroidered on the back. But stuff like this, it just piques my interest much more than just t-shirts, you know? T-shirts are cool and all, but I don't know. Like, check this out. Another true vintage Lion Workwear t-shirt. Boom. Super sick on that. You know, there's just cool stuff out there. It's fun to find it. And I can't wear t-shirts all the time. I can wear a t-shirt inside because it's warmer. But outside, I can't, like, I can barely ever even just wear a sweatshirt. I live on the coast, too, so it's like hoodie weather all year round. Even in the summer, I still want to wear a hoodie. <laughs> yeah, but maybe I can wear t-shirts with a badass vest. Oh, look at that. Swole. Yeah. <laughs> but for real, sick-ass vest. Sick-ass trip to the thrifts that I've been doing. I've been finding some good stuff. Having a good time. Last one is this uh, super, super old Fruit of the Loom. Uh, the tag is super faded. Boom, it is, you can barely see, but it is Fruit of the Loom. Fruit of the Loom, Fruit of the Loom. Man, it's a size large, but it is just a black pocket tee. Pretty small at this point, because it's been washed. I think this, I need to look it up, but I think this is from like the 80s or 70s maybe. But yeah, it's got the selvage top pocket. Boom, it's kind of interesting. Weird little setup there, but nice, just super paper thin. Like, look at this. Look at that, you can see through that. There's no dry rot from what I could tell because it's definitely been worn. Let's just try. Yeah, no dry rot. Nice paper thin shirt though, super rad. I got a few blanks. I might throw them all together and do like a bulk thing. I'm not really sure yet, we'll decide. But yeah, that was the last t-shirt. I've had so much more that I've found that I have not shown you guys. I mean, I really need to get back on here doing videos. I was just really trying to focus on getting my life together, getting stuff posted. But I'm gonna be honest, I have some like depression and shit like that, as do a lot of people. But when the winter hits, it's hard and I'm really just trying to push through it. And you know, I'm doing my thing. It's every day I'm hard on myself. I'm like, you gotta make a video, man. You gotta do something. And I get all in my head and I end up not doing it. But I'm really gonna just try to hold myself accountable and get these videos going. It helps keep me motivated because you can either live in your state of depression or you can like act out and try to change it. And that's really the option that I wanted to go with. I want to just change it and I want to make the, my life the way I see it and I envision it. I want to like, I can picture, I can picture all these things that like I want to do that will make me happy and how I can help people around me, like my family and just help them not worry about all the bullshit that most people have to worry about, you know, and be able to help others, you know, I, I just, I love it. And I really want to learn how to do it better and be more motivated and more just a better content creator, a better just person, a better friend, a better everything. I know, yeah, this is just vintage clothing, but I'm just taking you guys for a ride with me as well. You get to know who I am and what it's like to just be the human that I am as well as you, you're a human. And we're all just going through shit and I'm gonna share it all and share, you, share with you all the cool stuff I like. But yeah, I hope you guys really like this. I know it's a little bit different than most trips of thrifts that I've done in the past. I wanna change it up, you know, make it a little fresher, do something different. Like maybe I'll get real creative with it, we'll see. But I haven't done the video in a while, so I just wanted to do this one so I could get it out to y'all. I do have some more unboxings I need to do. Like I have a huge ass Supreme unboxing that'll be coming up. I'm gonna film that today or tomorrow, we shall see. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Make sure you like and subscribe. Smash that like button, but for real, I love y'all. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. I hope you had a very, very happy holiday season. Um, I hope you had ho happy holidays and I hope you have a very happy new year. I love y'all. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. All of that's down in the description. If not, it's no big deal. Just keep on watching the next video. Spread the love, stay positive and make your world your reality. All right, peace out. I love y'all.